Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Singapore and probably one of the most famous dishes, a dish that you think about when you think about Singapore is chili crab. In fact, it was invented in Singapore. So today I'm meeting up with my friend Ray and we are gonna take you on a Singapore chili crab tour. We will be eating the original chili crab. We'll be eating at a Zhe Cha restaurant and then finally we'll be eating a huge chili crab at a live seafood restaurant. <laughs> Look at the size of those claws. Ridiculously big. Massive. So all of the chili crab coming up and I can't wait to share it all with you right now in this video. Everybody, say hello to my friend Ray. Hi guys. Ray. Nice to meet you. Good to hang out with you today. For sure. To eat some chili crab. Yes, please. <laughs> so Ray, forward. what is, what is, what, as a Singaporean, yeah. what would you say is the significance of chili crab? Uh, I like would say it's definitely something, uh, I wouldn't call it a special occasion, but definitely something to enjoy. So it's a, uh, you know, feasting. Yeah, pretty much. The first place that we're gonna go, this place is very special. It has an incredible history because they invented the Singapore chili crab. I'll share more about the entire story as we eat here, but it has a very interesting location, literally within a parking lot. So just be careful of your head if you're really tall in this parking lot. <laughs> but here we go, Roland Restaurant since 1956. Six? I, th I think it was, yeah, 19... Yeah, since 1956. Ray, have you been here before? No, actually, I think it's my first time eating in the shop. So, it'll be interesting. Awesome. Let's go. I love an original invention food story, and then I love old school restaurants in random places, such as at the top of parking lots. Oh, man, tanks of seafood greeting you. And welcome to Roland. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, so Ray. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, and I know they, all, they also have dim sum here. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, she says that the original is not as, not as good. As the, oh, really? the egg one is better. But yeah. egg one is better? Yeah. Or should we do one of each? I'm already impressed with the friendliness of this place. She's so nice. Hi, Roland. Nice to meet you. Oh, thank you. Ray. Uh, just with my friend uh, Mark here. Oh, We're just doing a video and you? showcasing your oh, food today. No yeah. Yes. Thank you, Roland. <laughs> hey, Roland. Thank you so much. The, the, the veggie is, is normal. It's, it's normal. It's just the dressing, it's important. Yes. Ah. So, so Mr. Roland food. says to okay. fully give it a mix. Oh, I see. Okay, I see. Mix it well. That's the magic the sauce. The dressing. Yeah, yeah. The dressing. Yes. Mm. Wow. wow. <laughs> Crunchy? That's like a vegetable like I've never had before. It's like a iceberg lettuce, but even more watery. Yeah, exactly. It's like garlic as well. Wow. Okay, let's see. Uh, oh. It's just a black sauce prawns. So the next dish has arrived, another legendary dish, dish here at Roland, black sauce oh. prawns. I kind of want to... Looks nice and charred. Yeah, Look don't get that. into that sauce as much as possible. Yeah. It's kind of oily and you can smell the soy and you can smell kind of the smokiness. Mm -hmm. It has a smokiness, yeah. Yeah, I like the char. I'm just gonna... Feels like a barbecue, like on a on a on a charcoal yeah. grill. Yeah. Mm. The, the main event. The OG of chili crab. The original. Oh, oh, wow. oh look at that. Yeah. Fried manto. So we have here the original Singapore chili crab. Chili crab is without a doubt one of the most famous dishes from Singapore. Probably one of the most well known internationally. It's so iconic, it's so famous. Nowadays, in most chili crabs that you'll have, you'll see egg kind of folded within the sauce, yeah. then beaten within that sauce, whereas that's this right. is no is eggless. I think that's one of the main differences. The egg was added later. We can't stay here for much longer. No. We gotta, we gotta Go dig in. It. Claw first? Yes, claw oh, first. Oh, oh man. Go oh, for it. have done a great job at de-shelling de 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 that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna re-sauce a bit. 
And that sauce, you can see that it just completely just coats it. It's thick and sticky enough to just coat your crab. All right, Ray, grab up. Go for it. Grab I, up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it with the manto, which oh, is okay. also a popular dip. <laughs> Sweet, mostly sweet, a little bit sticky, not too tart, not too not too sour. It's very right? smooth because maybe mm. no egg, so it's it's just yeah. smooth, right? Smooth, kind of tomatoey, a little bit tomatoey, mm. and then you've got the sweet mud crabs. That sauce though, it's a texture that just kind of coats anything that touches it. Okay, so we got the fried manto, oh crispy. These are the minis, but they taste really good. Oh, and you can see how yeah. fluffy and white on the inside is. So you've got all this sticky gravy, an excess of sticky gravy, which is often scooped up with bread, absorbed to be able to make full use of all of that sauce. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the bread is awesome. Yeah, I love the bread. Manto is amazing. Very good, the crepe is good as well. Mm -hmm. The meat, the flesh is very good. Yeah, the flesh is good and flesh juicy. Is very good, yeah. And as we're sitting here eating, I just wanted to, let me just refresh my, my memory about the history. But it dates back to 1956. It was invented by Madame Cher Yam Tien, who is actually Roland's mother. Yeah. And so Roland is the son who yeah. now this restaurant is named after him. His parents, they would prepare crabs from a push cart. So it started from a street food, wow. like a push cart on the beach. I think somehow the story went that they they were looking for new creative ways to serve crab and different seafood dishes. And so Madame Cher came up with this recipe where she added in some different sauces, kind of a tangy sweet sauce to go with crabs and it stuck. They became so popular that they then opened a seafood restaurant, which was later then they sold off all their shares so they weren't a part of that restaurant anymore. But she invented the Singapore chili crab. Now, then you fast forward a few years, there was another chef in Singapore, a Chinese chef who then added the egg to make it the more flavor that we're used to when we think about chili crab. Right. Yeah, this is an honor to be able to try the original one to start this tour. Oh, oh yeah. Well, that sauce is amazingly... Consistent? Yeah. Yeah. Consistent yeah. and gluey. Yeah. Like literally, literally it just sticks. So if you can pull off these legs here, you should be able to get that that golden nugget of crab, that's one of the best parts. All oh, that interior meat there is some of the sweetest. Yes. I, I'm just going, I'm just, don't mind me. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just eating. You can't judge the taste on your first bite. No. Because the more you keep eating and the more you keep licking your fingers and licking the shell, it just keeps getting more addictive. It is, it is. I like it because the, the, the sauce is not too strong tasting. Mm. You know, it's almost like a, well, soup is a strong word, but it's, it's just tasty. It doesn't a overpower the sweetness yeah, of the crab. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. yeah, there we go. Yeah. Mm. So this is the way your fingers yeah. must and, look. And, and that's that's what this is for to, ah. to dip. So don't but, bring this. <laughs> don't bring this. Yeah. But if you're if your your fingers are not coated in that sticky sauce, you're not eating. You're not eating Chili it right. Crab. Yes. Exactly. It's so fantastic. I'm, I'm really proud of my mom. Yes. <laughs> till, till, we, today, till today. Well, she is an today, absolute she legend. She really Singapore. Mm. This crab uh, become mm. the icon of Singapore. Yes, yes. Yeah, not everyone, when they come to Singapore, uh, you talk about where? Chili crab. From my mom. But not yeah. many, many, many people are, uh, are selling now. Mm. But it's okay, it's okay. But we still maintain the origin. Uh. Then, yeah, huge oh. respect to your mom and your family. Thank you so much. It's truly an icon. Thank you. An Thank iconic you. Thank you. dish I... of Singapore and a part of like Singaporean yeah. culture. Yes, yeah. Yes. Another claw here. Rehydrating technique. Oh, oh yes. And I really am beginning to understand why the sauce must be this consistency, this stickiness. Like, I mean, you just start licking everything. You start licking the shell. You start licking your fingers. It has to be that kind of gummy, kind of 
yeah, kind of thicken the texture. I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you again, the Mr. Roland. The real man. <laughs> Meeting the real man now. What Every a guy. I see Uni on YouTube. <laughs> now I'm shaking his hand. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. Thank thank you so you so much. much. Oh. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Mr. Roland. Oh, Enjoy. what a, an amazing guy. His family, his mom, are responsible for literally inventing one of the most iconic, not only foods, but I think iconic things in Singapore that th Singapore is represented by. And so truly respect that was an amazing experience and made it even way more memorable being able to hang out and meet Mr. Roland, which was completely unplanned. Okay, we are moving on. Yeah, that's where we are. Uh, maybe he brought his people, I don't know. This place is called uh, Keng uh, and Ki Seafood. Yeah. Or okay, K-E-K for K -E -K short. For, yeah. for short. And this place is legendary. Really one of the well-known Zuchar laid-back local yeah. restaurants. But it's very popular locally, right? Yes, it is. So they have so many dishes on your menu. But as soon as you open that menu, it's one of the chef's specialties. The signature chili crab. Right. Oh, coffee pot ribs. Yeah, they have a coffee one, yes. signature, coffee pork ribs. Coffee pot ribs. Moonlight raw egg and Moonlight Hor Fun. Ah, so it's a raw egg on the Hor Fun. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes. <yeah>. Okay. <laughs> Ray and I have eaten a lot, so we were trying to keep it our order to a minimum. She was just too nice. She wouldn't let us escape without trying like all of their signature dishes. So I'm not even totally sure how many things we got, but it's going to be a lot of food. And they are inviting us into the kitchen to see the preparation process, especially of the chili crab. was amazing. Okay, I'm gonna get out of the kitchen before I bump something over. But I love the atmosphere in here. Action packed. Yeah, all the food comes fast. Oh, oh wow. That smells amazing. Oh, see, see. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> see, see. See, see. Man, the food just comes out at record pace. Are you, are you recording this part? Yes. Okay. Yeah, oh, I'm wearing white. Is it? Yes, yes. Yeah, you need it. Thank bro. you. Yeah. Oh, we've even got KEK -E seafood bibs. <laughs> it's like an XL, man. <laughs> Zemet has your competitive eater. Yeah, I mean, I mean yeah, awesome. that's what I do. I mean, uh, that's what I do. Awesome. I do competitive eating, food challenges, for fun jobs, that kind of thing. Yeah. So cool. So he's going to be joining us for this next chili crab meal. 
Okay, we decided not to wear the, the bibs because it'll be kind of crinkly, crinkly on the microphone. So, okay, we'll remove the bibs, but the bibs are cool. They set it up kind of like a, uh, they stack it. Yeah, a tower. They stack it, a tower of crab with the, the shell is actually in the bottom to hold in. Yeah. Hold in that sauce. It's, it's the first time they actually like put the, the shell at the bottom. Yeah. Like, that's a, a, like a dipping, a, like a dipping bowl. Exactly. That's, usually yeah, they that's cap it on top, right? Yeah, usually they cap it on top, you're right. So that's a that's a unique move right there. Yeah. That's a pro move right there. <laughs> okay. I'll just go right, guys. Yeah. Grab a, Look at that. All right. It's, a it's like a chalice at the bottom. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. You know what? You can immediately taste a little bit of that shrimp paste. Yeah. In the sambal, right? Mmm. Mmm. The crab? The crab meat is really good. Yeah, it's really, really good. Fresh. Yeah. Fresh, sweet, meaty. Their sauce has a good balance. Mm -hmm. Like, I wouldn't say it's spicy, but you can taste the chilies. A it's little bit sweet chili thing, kind, kind of, of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hope you guys don't mind. I'm going for a redip in the chalice. Enjoy. The it. head. And I love that. The egg makes it curdled, makes it thicker. Oh man, that's tasty. The crab is actually very meaty. Yeah, it is very meaty. Mm. No, no, no. Yeah. I so we're have a bit more of that salt. Oh yeah, of course, with the bread as well. <laughs> okay. So they actually give us gloves here, but I think crab is something you really got to use your fingers and your, right, your whole experience. Yeah. I think when yeah. you're eating chili crab especially, you have to fully commit. There's no, there's no half commitments. No, exactly. It's no, you're going all in. Oh, yeah, look at this crab. I'm impressed how meaty and sweet it it's, is. It's, yeah. it's a firm, it's really good. well cooked. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think we should Try that manto. Yeah, let's go. So typically when I've eaten chili crab, you mostly get the fried manto. Yeah, the deep yeah, crab can, I've ever had. The, peel the, thank the you. sheet off of you. There this you one is really light and fluffy, the steamed, the steamed manto. Look at how fluffy it is. It's like a marshmallow. It's like a pillow, yeah. Yeah, a pillow. <laughs> oh, it's so fluffy and yeah. airy. It's cool. I'm going to grab it like that. Oh, and that's like a pro move, Ray. Claw, claw oh, move. Man. Look at that. You have to. Look at that. Claw it. There we go. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I kind of prefer this one with a bright orange. Yeah, actually, it's not as oily. Yeah. yeah. And it really sops it up. Mm. And then we got a few more of the signature dishes here, which we will try. Especially, I want to try that liver oh, next. The liver. Yeah. They cook it perfect. Is that one of the dishes you yeah, often yeah, get? I yeah, I always okay. get this too. Oh man. Yeah, the Moonlight Hall Fun and the... Uh, oh man. The two? I thought you usually get all the dishes. If, if, if I'm <laughs> doing a challenge, yeah. <laughs> if I'm eating like a normal human, yeah. Overflowing to the brim, sliced <laughs> liver, onions, green onions, perfect to scoop up with the rice, to just absorb into that rice. Oh man. Oh yeah. So oily and juicy. Mm. Oh wow. Mm. Oh the liver is incredible. Natural sweetness to it. Yeah, smoky. Contrasted by those spring onions. Is that the rice wine on it? Some sort of like this. Probably. Mm. So tender. Not like too irony, but just mm. sweet liver. Oh. So the next dish is their midnight for fun. And so it's these wide noodles and it comes with an egg, a, a raw egg yolk on the top. And then as soon as, because the noodles are still hot, as soon as she brought it to the table, she mixed it up so that egg kind of just cooks within the noodles. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. It's, it's, it's different. Eh? Um, Patsy you with yeah, yeah, yeah. runny yolk. Like the, yolk. the ones with a lot of wok hay, mm -hmm. but it's like, mm. it likes a bit of smokiness, but it's very, very creamy. The yeah, the egg, the egg actually doesn't really cook in it. Oh yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't cook with that noodle. It more creates a sauce. Okay, should we try the coffee ribs? Oh, that one. 
another one of their signature dishes here. Mmm. Mm. I wasn't expecting a crunch. Yeah. But it's, it's good. You immediately taste Nescafe. Mm. It's like a three in one. It's a red car. Pork rib, yeah. <laughs> Probably not my like absolute favorite dish because it's quite sweet, but it is like addictively good. It is definitely worth trying for sure. Yeah, actually, all the food is great. Chili crab is really good, but that liver might be the highlight of the meal. But anyway, we're gonna keep on eating. Um, Ray, we have one more crab to eat after this. Yeah, exactly. We should so pace gonna, ourselves, yeah? Yeah, we should, we should pace ourselves. But we are going to finish this meal, and then we'll go eat one more crab, where we're going to have the chance to see the entire live crab. It's going to be a huge crab that's coming up next meal. Oh, oh. oh it's pretty, it's pretty it's still, heavy. Yep. It's pretty that heavy. Is huge, yeah. Wow. Break this pot for you guys. It's a that's huge claw. Yeah. I'm just going to... Going for that claw. Well, we've come to the final restaurant on this chili crab tour of Singapore. Yeah. And this is Ray's. One of one the restaurants that Ray yeah. recommended. We are actually headed to Chin Huat Seafood, live seafood, which is just behind here. We are now at Sunset Way, which is near Clementi. So do check it out. This oh, is, this it is the place right here. Yeah, over here. Chin Huat, live seafood. Oh man. Oh, check out the crab. Immediately. Yeah. The tanks of seafood. Yeah, look at that. Oh, these are king. Alaskan oh, meeting. King crabs. Look at There's that. King crabs. Check it out. The restaurant is called Live Seafood, so they have a bunch of tanks filled with just, especially there's crabs a variety, and then these are more for the, the Singaporean crab dishes, the, a lot of the mud crabs which are used. Wow. Wow. What size is this? The, this one's. Oh, that's huge. <laughs> that one is massive blue claws. Those are huge. The size of those claws. Ridiculously big. Massive Sri Lankan crabs for the chili crab. Yeah. Wow. Looks good, looks good. Okay. All right. So we're going to get one of these crabs. <laughs> okay. okay, thank you. Sambal chili. Oh, sambal chili. All right. Ready. 
ว้าวอะไรมาก Yes you need the m o n t e r the fried bun crispy bun you need it for the sauce that is a huge crab here c o m e n o m oh yes I'm bibbed thank you all right I'll lift the head uh huh we'll grab a piece okay uh I'm just gonna grab this I'll grab this guy right here wow look at that wow wow oh man I wanna The wheat, that nugget, that wheat. I'm gonna re, re, re dip absorb, re, re dip, I'm rejuice gonna, myself. I'm gonna taste That's it as sad. it is. Oh, flaming hot! Flaming It's hot! So incredibly juicy! Oh man, I'm just gonna have to yeah. bite and lick. All right, go for it. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh wow! The sambal makes a big difference. The sambal is incredible. Yeah. Yeah. You've got that little bit of sweetness from those variety of tomato sauces Chef. added. It's kind of curdled up with the egg, and then you do have the sour component, the vinegary yeah. component too. Oh man, that is that's could, insane. Could, could be my favorite. Yeah, the, the, the flavor because yeah, the flavor is not not sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not, not too sweet. sweet. Yeah, not sweet. It's balanced. Mm. The actual crab itself is one of the. I mean, the that's is... the best of the best crab you can possibly get. Yeah, massive Sri Lankan mud crab, as fresh as you can get too. The quality, it's really good. The taste is insane though. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Okay. Oh man, you could you want to swim in that sauce? It's such a perfect texture. Oh, it's such a perfect flavor. Mmm. Okay. Oh wow. So this one is the golden, the golden wow. sauce. Wow. Pumpkin and pumpkin soy is our pumpkin. curry leaf. Curry leaf called golden yeah golden sauce prawns, but they also make crab with this. But since we got the chili crab, we decided to get it with prawns. And this is another signature dish here at this restaurant. That sauce is so yellow golden because of pumpkin. I, I love think. the the curry leaf yeah. aroma. Nice color. And have you had the golden sauce? No, here it's the first time for me as well. Cool. So, so this is golden sauce. Yeah, we're going in all shell. Mm. Oh, it's like a really good mm -hmm. pumpkin soup-ish. No, yeah, not soup, but yeah, that yeah. that, that it's nice like a flavor. Yeah, pumpkin puree, and it's not like dry spice. Oh. It's just the flavor from those curry leaves. It's really That's good. It's really good. Yeah. I don't know if people deshell this, but it's good to eat. It's crunchy. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, I'm gonna move back in for the that chili crab. <laughs> Goliath claw. Yeah. Oh Ray, you have to have a claw. It's Look at the size. Yeah. That is a monstrous. That. Thank you, Ma. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Look <laughs> at the size of that claw. It's amazing. Gigantic Goliath crab claw. <laughs> Huge, Ray. Should we try the claws? Look at the meat underneath oh. it. Redip. Mm. That is stunning. Wow. You can just grab fishfuls of crab and just lick your fingers. Wow. Look at this nugget coming out. And then the yeah, tomorrow you go and the, run botanic garden again. <laughs> great too. Just stir fried vegetable with mushroom. Mm. Mm. Actually, it tastes like chive. A real deal Singapore seafood experience. Thank you, Ray, for My bringing pleasure. me here. Yeah, I'm glad you like it. Absolutely amazing. Whoa, served in a coconut too. With ice Thank cream you. on top. We are. To the brim with chili crab and, and prawns. golden sauce. Oh, the prawns, golden the sauce. Prawns were so good. Oh man, the prawns! Ray love it. Loved that golden sauce. Yeah, we loved, all the food was spectacular. But we are finishing the meal with this coconut pudding. Yeah, that is impressive too. So there's coconut pudding on the bottom, within a coconut. Coconut, coconut ice, ice cream, cream on, on the top. top. Yeah, so coconut three ways to end this meal. You can feel how 
soft and yeah. silky it is. Mm. Yep. Silky smooth pudding. Wow. Yeah, it's almost so tofu, like a yeah. tofu in, in texture. Light, fluffy, mm. refreshing. Thank you very much. You, this sir. was incredible. Have a nice evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. This was an amazing meal. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be back every time we're in Singapore. Oh man, and it is busy now. Wow. True seafood happiness in Singapore. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. See you guys. It was awesome. Thanks, Thank Ray. you. No worries. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. That brings us to the end of this unbelievably delicious, one of a kind ch Singapore chili crab experience in Singapore with my friend Ray. Thank you to Ray, first of all, for bringing me around. Man, this has given me a totally new perspective on chili crab, which is one of the most, I mean, easily the most iconic, the most well-known food, the food that represents Singapore. I think I'll have all the information in the description box below. All three restaurants were outstanding, and you should check all of them out when you're in Singapore. Thanks again for watching. Remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe now for lots more food and travel videos. Thanks again for watching. Good night from Singapore, and I'll see you on the next video.